In this video, I'll be creating this rotation animation. I'll also be creating this Chrome 3D MTV logo. The tools I'll be using are Adobe Illustrator and Blender 3.0. If you want to learn how to make this, keep watching. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and copy and paste um, your desired logo onto Adobe Illustrator and grab the pen tool with an outline on it so you can trace over the shapes that you see. In this case, I'll be tracing over the M and the TV. Since the actual TV have more curves, I actually switched over to the curvature tool instead of the pen tool to make things a little bit more easy. Once you're all done with that, you're gonna wanna export this by going to File Export and export it as an SVG. All right, now that we're back on Blender, you're gonna wanna import what you just did on Adobe Illustrator by going to File, Import, and make sure you import it as an SVG. It's probably gonna be pretty small, so just highlight everything and press S on your keyboard to scale it up and RX 90 on your keyboard to rotate its axis 90 degrees. As you can see, it's super flat, so we're going to want to add some depth and dimension. We do that by going to the Object Properties panel and within the Geometry tab, we're gonna press Extrude. Once I did that, I had to go ahead and extrude the letters, but since they were gonna have the same material, since they are the same color, I went ahead and um, joined these letters by right-clicking my mouse and pressing join, or you can press Control J on your keyboard, and I extruded them as well. I wanted to smooth the edges out, so I did that by first right-clicking my mouse and converting the object to a mesh, and then I go to the Modifier Properties panel and I remesh it. Um, I use the Smooth option and and I bring it up all the way to like eight or nine. And I did that for both of the objects. Now I can switch to sculpt mode and use the smooth tool to smooth out the edges. And for this case, I also use the inflate tool just to like, I don't know, add a bit of puffiness to it. Once I did that, this is what it looked like. So now I'm ready to add the material. So I just slid over a new tab and um, first I added an HDRI by going to the shade editor tab and then going to world and I add an environment texture. Um, I get all my HDRIs from polyhaven.com. As you can see, it added like its unique set of lighting and stuff. And then I removed the material and I wanted to do a metallic, of course, cause that's what I always do. So you just put up the metallic to one and then the roughness to zero and that should give you a metallic look. You could go ahead and change the color within the color wheel. I had to add a white background by adding a mesh plane and I rotated its, its axis and put it right behind um, the object. So this is the color scheme I ended up going with, the original um, logo color scheme. So now we're gonna go ahead and start to create the rotation animation. First, we wanna switch over from layer to animation all the way at the top and we're also going to highlight all the objects and we're going to right click and press join that way they become one single object and also we're going to set the origin of the object the k the arrow that moves it around to the center um, of the object as you can see the very bottom um, is where we're going to actually do the animation on the dope sheet. So that little um, marker right there, make sure it's at one. And we're also gonna press N on our keyboard to bring open this transform screen. And while it's in that position, we're gonna press I over the rotation section. And that'll just frame your the position of your object at that position. Then we're gonna move it up a little bit um, we can adjust this and we're going to press 360 on the z part which is going around once in a circle and then we're going to press i again so it can keyframe it now that last part we can move it up or down so this is going to what's this is what's going to make your rotation either go slower or faster so you can adjust it to your own preference whether you want it to be slower or faster i chose 100 i felt like that was a good speed and we're still gonna adjust it a little bit more. So as you can see, when I play the animation, it starts off slow and it ends off slow. So the way we change this is by clicking one of our key frames and then right-clicking our mouse 
And within where it says interpolation, we're going to click on linear. And that should make the speed an average uh, rate throughout the whole animation. And now that we know where we want our key frame to end, we're gonna go to the output properties and within the frame range, we're going to end it at 100. Now just um, what's left is to output this or render the animation. So first we're gonna have to go to the output properties. Um, earlier you did put it at 100 and now you're just gonna have to pick a file in your computer for it to render to. And we're going to change um, from PNG to FFMG video. And under encoding, change it to MP4. And under that, we're gonna change it to perpetually lossless. And under render, you're just gonna go ahead and press render animation. And it'll render like frame by frame and it should appear in the file that you selected earlier. And that does conclude this tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I've been super busy. And I've officially picked myself up back from the bootstraps. And I'm getting back into my YouTube bag. So I'll see you guys in the next one.